We all lie. White lies, small lies. I'm just going to ask you straight out. Did you kill Christy Wilson? No. I had nothing to do with her disappearance. Well, that's not quite what I'm encountering here. That's 48 Hours correspondent Erin Moriarty with her original true crime investigations. But now you don't have to wait for Saturday nights to dig into the compelling cases. You can listen to her podcast, My Life of Crime. And she joins us live this morning to talk about season three of the podcast. Thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, it's great being here. Thank you. You know, one of the things I want to point out that makes this podcast different is if you listen to true crime podcasts, people talk about cases. Um, in this podcast, I talk to the people who are involved in these cases. We take the, the listeners to these places. So it really is, um, you go there. You don't just hear people opine about it. And Aaron, are any of the stories that uh, you talk with with these people on your podcast, My Life of Crime, are they the same as what we see on your reports on 48 Hours? Some of them are, but what I've done is then I advance the stories. Um, one of uh, one example is that when 48 Hours covered uh, a case in Phoenix, Arizona, a young woman was missing. Well, when I put the story on my podcast, we now know what happened to that young woman and we update the story. Um, another case in Alabama, a woman who was accused of uh, killing her ex-husband and saying it was self-defense. Well, I update that case and I go back to her and talk to her. So some of these cases will seem familiar, but we give you an update. We are more extensive. Um, I include much longer interviews with killers and accused killers than I can do on 48 hours. Wow. So, Erin, what do you think is behind, behind our fascination with true crime? Because after 30 years of covering crime, what makes you want to keep telling these stories? Well, I want to keep telling these stories because um, I'm a lawyer. I find the legal issues fascinating. I also have found that technology has really helped us uh, solve a lot of cases that we couldn't in the past. And I really think that is one of the reasons why people tune in, listen in. Um, they are as interested in the mysteries and then the technology that solves them. Um, and I also find the people get very connected to the people involved in these cases. Um, and I'm grateful for that. When I do wrongful convictions, um, so many people get involved in care. And there was a case I did a few years ago, Ryan Ferguson. Um, if, if listeners and viewers had not gotten involved, and especially on social media, he might not be out today. Um, so I think people are, I think they're entertained, sadly, about it. But I also think they care about these cases, and they like the intricacy. They like the evidence. Um, they love to try to solve the mystery of it. Aaron Moriarty, thanks for being with us and for your fantastic reporting, not only with 48 Hours, but your podcast, My Life of Crime. Got to add it to the list. Yes, Click on absolutely. where we get our podcast. Thanks so much. Well, you can check out the third season of Aaron's podcast, My Life of Crime, today. Just search it for it on Apple or Spotify Podcasts.